Coming to second type of activities as described under accounting standard 3. Now students, this activity is called as investing activities. That is, we are required to calculate cash inflow and outflow on account of acquisition or disposal of long term assets. By long term assets, I mean fixed assets or any other kind of investments made by the business during a particular accounting period. Now since it involves acquisition and disposal of fixed assets, very often we are required to create or make accounts of fixed assets so as to calculate their inflow and outflow. So the first format that we are going to discuss is if fixed assets account is required then how do we make it? So the format that I am going to discuss here is fixed assets account at written down value. So it is fixed assets at written down value. Sometimes it might be referred to as at net value. This is a T-shape format. We all know this is debit side, this is credit side, particulars and amount. So the opening balance would be written here to balance brought down that is opening balance. Since assets have debit balance, so opening balance on the debit side. Then by balance that is the closing balance on the credit side. Now students, all the other entries relating to sale and depreciation of fixed assets would be made in this account. So by depreciation, that is depreciation which has been charged during the year. So I have written it here very clearly, charge during the year. Then by bank account, any sale of asset. If in case it is given that any particular asset or any part of the asset has been sold during the year, it would be entered here on this side as by bank as the journal entry for sale of asset is bank to assets. Then the sale might include any loss or profit. So in case it is loss by profit and loss account, loss on sale and in case there is profit to profit and loss account, profit on sale. I am marking these entries by star as only one of them will appear, either profit or loss. So now students, once these entries have been made, we will balance out the account and try and find out the balancing figure which in this case would be purchase of assets during the year. And remember this is balancing figure. If in this question the purchase amount is already given to you then any one of these or like depreciation or sale or loss can be a balancing figure but mostly it is the purchase that is not given so it is to be taken as the balancing figure. Let us take an example to understand this format. 